Hello, our topic is coma. My name is Glitzai Anna. I am Associated Professor in the Department of General Practice Family Medicine. Neural basis of consciousness. Consciousness cannot be readily defined in terms of anything else. A state of awareness of self and surrounding. The content of consciousness. Some of patients' intellectual, cognitive function and affective state, sensation, emotion, memories, imagination, ideas. It depends on the activity of the cerebral cortex, thalamus, and their interrelationship. The lesions of this structure will diminish the content of consciousness. Abnormal change in level of arousal or altered content of a patient's thought process. Changes in the level of arousal and alertness. This is lethargy, stupor and coma. Change in content. Relatively simple changes. The changes of speech, calculation, spelling. More complex changes. This is emotional disturbance, behavioral and personality disturbance. For example, confusion, disorientation, hallucination, poor comprehensions, etc. Definition of level of arousal and consciousness. Alert or conscious patient. Appearance of wakefulness, awareness of the self and environment. Lethargy. It's mild reduction in alertness. Optimization. It's moderate reduction of alertness, increased response to time to stimuli, stupor, deep sleep. Patient can be aroused only by vigorous or repetitive stimulation, returns to deep sleep when non-continually stimulated. Coma, sleep-like state of patients, appearance and behaviorally unresponsive to all external stimuli. Psychogenic unresponsiveness, uh, the patient is apparently unconscious, this usually shows some response to external stimuli. An attempt to elicit the coronary reflex may cause a vigorous contraction of the orbicularis oculi. Marked resistance to passive movement of the limbs may be present, and signs of organic disease are vegetative state. Patients who survive coma do not remain in this state for more than two or three weeks, but develop a persistent responsive state in which sleep-wake cycle returns. After severe brain injury, the brainstorm function returns. The sleep-wake cycles are opening in response to verbal stimuli and normal respiratory control. Locked-in syndrome. Patient is awake and alert, but unable to move and speak. Pointing lesions affect lateral eye movement and motor control. Lesions often spare vertical eye movements and blinking. Confusional state. Major defect. Lack of attention. Disorientation in time, place and person. A patient thinks less clearly and more slowly. Memory faulty. Misinterpretation of external stimuli. Drowsiness. Delirium, it's markedly abnormal mental states via confusional state plus some hallucination or delirious. To cause coma is defined as a state of unconsciousness in which the eyes are closed and sleep awake cycles absent. Lesions of the cerebral hemisphere is extensive and bilateral, or lesions of brain stems above the lower third of the pons and destroy both sides of paramedial reticulum. The use of term other than coma and stupor to indicate the degree of impairment of consciousness and beset with difficulty and more important the use of coma scale, Glasgow coma scale. Individual elements as well as the sum of the score are important. Generally, coma are classified as severe, according to Glasgow Coma Scale, less than 8, moderate, 9 or 12 points, minor, more than 13.
attention is directed toward assessment of the patient, severity of the coma, diagnostic evaluation, all possible information from relatives, paramedics, ambulance personnel, be standard, particularly about the mode of onset. Previous medical history is important. It means epilepsy history, uh, drug history, uh, clues obtained from the patient, clothing or handbag. Careful examination for trauma requires complex exposure and log roll to examine the back, needle mark. Temperature. It may be hypothermia in the case of hypothyroidism, hypopituitarism, chlorpromazine, exp exposure low temperature environmental, cold water immersion, risk of hypothermia in the elderly with inadequate heating rooms. Hyperthermia or febri febrile coma. In the case of infections, some vascular problems like subarachnoid hemorrhage, metabolic reasons, toxin, sound stroke, heat stroke, coma with the secondary infections. Hyperthermia or heat stroke, loss of thermoregulation. Uh, due to prolonged extension in the hot environment. Pulse rate, bradycardia or tachycardia. Bradycardia is typical for brain tumor, opiate intoxication, myxedema, tachycardia. It's typical for hyperthyroidism, uremia. Blood pressure can be high in the case of arterial hypertension, and stroke and low in the case of alcohol intoxication and some crisis. Skin state. You look for injury, bruises, dry skin, most skin in the case of hypoglycemic coma, cherry red, middle mark, rashes in the case of meningitis and endotism. Pupils. You assess their size, Inequality reaction to the light is important general rule. Most metabolic coma gives small pupils with the preserved light reflex. Pons lesion, bilaterally small pupils, uh, assess the light response using a magnifying glass. Lateral medullary lesion, ipsilateral corner syndrome, Occluded carotid artery causing cerebral infarction. Pupil on this side is often small. Ocular movement. The position of the eyes at rest. Presence of spontaneous eye movement. The reflex response to oculocephalic and oculovestibular maneuver. The oculocephalic dose head response. Rotating the head from this side to side and observing the position of the eyes. If the eyes move conjugately in the opposite direction to the, the head movement, the response is positive and indicates an intact bones mediating a normal vestibular ocularis. Caloric ocular vestibular responses, they are attested by the installation of ice cold water into the external auditory meters, having confirmed that there is no tympanic odor of breathing. Acetone odor, fetongipaticus, alcoholic odors, respiration, chain stock respiration, commonly found in comatose patients, often with third cerebral disease, but is relatively non specific. Rapid regular respiration is also common in comatose patients and is often found with the pneumonia or in the case of asthma. Motor function. Particular attention should be directed toward asymmetry of tone or movement. The plantar response are usually extension, but asymmetry is again important. The tendon reflexes are less useful. The motor response to painful stimuli should be assessed carefully. Painful stimuli, supraorbital nerve pressure and nail bed pressure. Rubbing at the sternum should be avoided. Patients may localize or exhibit a variety of responses. Asymmetry is important. Head and neck. 
the evidence of injury, skulls should be palpated for depressed fractures, the eyes and nose uh, also can be assessed in the case of hemorrhage and leakage of cerebral spinal fluids, the fundi, papillary edema and the subculoid or retinal hemorrhage, neck, in the presence of trauma to the head associated trauma to the neck should be assumed until proven otherwise, positive keramic size, a meningitis or subarachnoid hemorrhage is established as safe to do so, the cervical spine should be gently flexed. Central nervous system reasons of coma. It's cerebrovascular disease. It's a frequent causes of coma. The mechanism impairment of perfusion. It may be with hypertension, brain stem herniation of different type hemorrhage, swelling from infarct, or more rarely extensive brain stem function. Head injury, this is leading cause of death below the age of 45 years old. Head injury on half of all trauma deaths, the major cause of patients presenting with coma. Alcohol intoxication is a is a brief provides a direct clue to a cause of coma. Evidence of head injury need to imply that this and the cause epileptic seizure or eclampsia may have resulted in the subsequent head injury. Infectious disease, it may be systemic infectious, may result in coma as an even secondary to metabolic or vascular disturbance or seizure activity. Or it may be infectious disease like meningitis, encephalitis, hepatic coma. The patient is known to be suffering from liver failures, may occur in patients with chronic liver failure or post systemic shunting. Renal coma might occur in acute or chronic renal failure. Raised blood urea alone cannot be responsible to the loss of consciousness, but the metabolic acidosis, electrolyte disturbance, and water intoxication due to fluid retention may be responsible. Early symptom is headache, vomiting, dyspnea, mental confusion, drowsiness, restlessness, and insomnia. Later, it's muscular tension, asterix, myoclonus, and generalized convulsion and elevated concentration of urea and creatinine and plasma. Disturbance of glucose metabolism can lead to diabetic ketoacidosis. Hyperglycemic non-ketonic diabetic coma, more commonly seen in the elderly patient, and hypoglycemic coma, much more rapid onset of symptoms. Due to drug intoxication, or drug abuse or alcohol intoxication accounting for up to 30% of the presenting throat accident and emergency department. 80% require only sample observation in their management. The most common drugs in suicide attempt are benzodiazepines, paracetamol, antidepressant drug, uh, narcotic overdoses. Solvent abuse and glue sniffing should be considered the undiagnosed patient with coma. Alcohol intoxication, apparent from the history, flushed face, rapid pulse rate, low blood pressure, the smell of alcohol, of the breathing. Intoxicated are at increased risk of hypothermia and head injury can be the cause of coma also. Seizures, common cause of coma with a period of unconsciousness, following a single generalized seizure, commonly lasting between 30 or 60 minutes. Management of the unconscious patients, treatment of the underlying causes, maintenance of normal physiology, respiration rate, circulation, nutrition. Patients should be nursed on his or her side without a pillow. Attention will clearly need to the feet and the airway, requiring an oral airway as a intubation if coma is prolonged, tracheostomy, retention 
of incontinency of urine may require catheterization, intravenous fluid is necessary, and if coma persists, adequate nutrition is required. Care of skin, frequent changing of position, special matters, avoiding urine and stool swelling, and good care of bed so Prognosis in coma in general, coma carries a serial prognosis. This is dependent on the large extent of the underlying cause. Coma due to depression drug carries and excellent prognosis, provided the resuscitative and supportive measures and available and no anoxia has been sustained. Metabolic causes evident from anoxia carry a better prognosis than structural lesion and head injury. Length of coma and increasing age of poor prognostic significance. Brainstem reflexes early in the coma are an important predictor of outcome. In general, the absence of pupillary light and coronary reflexes during six hours after the onset of coma is very unlikely to be associated with the survival. The chronic vegetative state usually carries an uniformly poor prognosis, although a partial return of cognition or even restoration to partial independence can be reported very rarely. Although unassociated with coma, the locked-in syndrome also carries a poor prognosis with only a rare recovery reported. Thank you.